Hi guys, it's Michael, and today I'm here to talk about The Legend of Genji Part 4. So, in this part, we kind of pick up off of Parts 1 and Parts 2. We find Genji in a bending arena, similar to what Avatar Korra did in Book 4 of her series. We know Genji and his family are getting evicted from their home, so we see Genji trying to make a little extra money. He's in a bending battle, which he loses, and once he loses that battle, we see him run into an old friend of his, but Genji, he clearly wants nothing to do with this person. This person might be bad news, um, and he seems kind of shady, so as the chapter goes on, um, he convinces Genji to make a drop for him, something that he doesn't want Genji to know what the items are. So um, he tells Genji um, to deliver these two briefcases and, you know, not to look in the briefcases and deliver them and just don't say anything. Just deliver them and, you know, mind your business. Um, but once Genji delivers them to these shady looking people um the items in said briefcases fall out and these guys that um genji's friend is involved in they want to capture genji because they think you know genji's gonna rat them out they obviously are up to no good and they now know that genji knows what items are being held um we don't really know what these items do but there are these like purple like balls um so yeah part five comes out um in two weeks and I guess we'll find out more then. Um, this story is really heating up. I'm actually really, I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, please go check out the official comic release and make sure to subscribe to me because I will be covering all of The Legend of Genji. I actually am really enjoying this series. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'll catch y'all in the next one.